Hey guys, it's Samantha Studebaker Carl here, and this is just going to be a very quick video on how to install the Chrome plugin so that you can get voice activated voice search on your uh, your Chrome browser so that you can uh, and do this on your computer, not necessarily on your lap or not not necessarily on your mobile browser, your phone, because I think those are pretty much automatically have that voice activated search. But this is on my laptop. I'm going to show you how to install that on your laptop. And uh, first thing, you just want to go to Google search and uh, type in uh, the web store, or actually Chrome web store. Chrome web store, and it's going to come up in your search. You can just click on it. Then when you land over here, you just want to go up here into the search. And you want to put in Google Voice Search Hot Word. Hit Enter. And it's going to bring up these results. Google Voice Search Hot Word in Beta. Now this is the one that you want and you're going to be able to just say, hey, OK Google, and it will start speaking, or it'll start speaking your search. Um, so as soon as you get on this page, you just want to go over here click on the plus free checking confirm new extension add Google Voice search hot word beta question mark it can it's gonna tell you these things you say yes or add over here it's downloading we're just gonna wait for it to finish doing that Now it's going to say Google Voice Search. You're all set. Just say OK Google when you're on search. Let's just scroll down. We want to edit these settings or make sure they are what we want them. OK. Um, this is going to kind of tell you how it works a little bit. If the microphone icon looks like this, it's not listening for you to say anything. If it looks like this, then it is lis listening for you to say something. And of course, you want to enable. OK Google hot word detection when on Google search and then it says stop listening for OK Google after five minutes so this will help reduce battery consumption on a laptop so this is important to know and um, so at this point we just want to say we just want to go to Google let's test it out OK Google search for Portuguese water dogs There you go. So how cool is that? That's pretty neat, right? Okay, Google. What is a pineapple? Pineapple, a large juicy tropical fruit consisting of aromatic edible yellow flesh surrounded by a tough segmented skin and topped with a tuft of stiff leaves. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> I like it. It's fun to play with a little bit. And it's going to be interesting to see how I end up using this just kind of on my day-to-day -day search. Um, but, um, yeah, there you go. That's how you install it. That's how you work with it a little bit. And, of course, if you want to turn it off, I believe you can just, um, let's see if we can figure out how to turn it off. Of course, if we click it, it's going to ask us, turn off. Oop, that's not going to get us. Let's do, let me search again. Okay, so turn off Google Voice Search. Voice Search, okay, let's see. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Let me pause and look and we'll come right back. All right, in order to turn it off, there isn't just a disable temporarily. I mean, there is a disable. Um, there's not just a shut it off for a few moments. It automatically will stop listening after five minutes. So if you're busy doing other things, it's going to automatically stop listening. But then when you go back to search again, then um, if the microphone icon is uh, clear, 
then all you got to do is click it to reactivate it. Now, in order to shut it off completely, say you don't like it for some reason or another, all you have to do is go up here to your Google browser little uh, tool thing, go to tools, then you're going to go to extensions, you're going to find your Google search hot word beta, and then uncheck it, and that will make it so that it is disabled. Okay, so but I'm going to enable it because I want it on here. I'm going to play with it a little bit. But I found out some other cool stuff while I was learning how to turn it off. I found some other things that it can do that are pretty surprising. Um, so let's just scroll down make sure we, do we have to save? No. Okay, looks like we're good to go as far as that goes. So let's look at this for just a second. Let me show you some of these other things I learned how to do. And, um, and of course, you can just search for... Google Voice search and it will bring you all kinds of information and search so you can research more about what you want to know about this uh, this particular tool but um, so like here it gives you some examples of you know if you want to check the weather you can ask what's the weather like tomorrow morning or uh, what and then in your context it let's see it says what's Lindsay's phone number so let's do a quick little search and see what it comes up with for that, let's see, that's not what I want. I just want to go to regular, plain old Google. As in order to get it to work, you've got to be on the Google search page, okay? Ah. Okay, good, good. I wanted to see if I didn't say anything, what it would do. Okay, so, okay, Google. What's the weather going to be tomorrow? Tomorrow's forecast for Columbus is 73 degrees with a chance of storm. So that's pretty neat where it actually will see, okay, where are you? It Google searches you <laughs> or finds out your location and tells you what your weather is, where you are. So that's neat. Um, let's see if we did, okay, Google. Is my computer thinking about it? Please check my microphone. Okay, so I have some kind of a microphone error. Okay, Google. What is Samantha's phone number? Oops. Tomorrow's forecast for Columbus is 73 degrees with a chance of storm. What is Samantha's phone number? Here it's on my news. Oh, that's interesting when it does this kind of a different search. This is not me, by the way, guys. I was thinking it was going to look in my contacts, but I don't really have any phone numbers in my Google contacts. But I imagine that if you do, then that is why that would work. But let's go back and see these other little things. Okay, locations. What's the nearest pharmacy? Flight status windows. That's interesting right there. Ah, let's try that one. Okay, Google. What time is it in Sydney, Australia? The time in Sydney, NSW, Australia is 2.26 a.m. <laughs> That's really neat, right? Okay, let's see what else I'll do. Um, events. When is sunset? Hmm. Well, uh, let's try this. I wonder if you have to say event. Let's try it. Okay, Google. When is the Saturday morning mastermind? Oh, how cool is that? It doesn't actually bring up the, um, doesn't bring up our event, but it did bring up our Saturday morning mastermind. Let's see. Okay, Google. Events. When is the Saturday morning mastermind? Event Bright Saturday morning mastermind event. Here's one where I posted it on Facebook. That was not mine. That must be another one. I wonder if we say calendar. Okay, Google. Calendar. When is Saturday morning mastermind? Saturday morning mastermind. Again, it brings it up. 
but it's not bringing up my calendar. I'm sure there's a way to do that. So let's just look over here and see if there's like specific commands. So there's different things that you can ask it relating to that. Answer. Oh, and this was something. I mean, we've already seen this, the hear your answer. So if it comes up with a definition, then it's going to read that back to you like it did for pineapples and, and whatnot. Um, okay, so voice action. So this may be what we need. Get back up there. Okay, so Google Calendar. Use your voice to create an event on Google Calendar. Call or email someone in your contact list or set a reminder on Google Now. Okay, so send an email. Send an email to Jason. I'm running late. Create an event. Add an event. Call a friend. Call. Set a reminder. Remind me. Okay, let's just see what it does when we say remind me. And do we have to be in that? Let's just try it. I love just playing with stuff like this. Okay, Google. Remind me of the Saturday morning mastermind tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. That did not go to my calendar. Okay, let's watch the tutorial and see what it tells us to do. Sometimes just watching the tutorial. Okay, I hope you guys are having fun with this. And of course, you could be playing around with this too. Uh, Google Calendar. Let's open this window and see what it says in order to make this work. Do, do, do. Maybe you have to be in here. Yeah, I don't want that escape. No, I don't want all that. Not right now. Okay, so we're in here. But I don't see the little voice icon. Okay, Google. Let's go back Not to that one, back on this one. Let's read it and see what it says. Once you're signed into your Google account, click the microphone, microphone icon and speak the voice action you want to use. Add an event. Oh, maybe that's what we need to do. Say, add an event. Did I say that? Let's go back. Okay, Google, add an event. Saturday morning, oops, try again. Okay, Google, add an event. Let's, oh wait, is that what we said? Go back, let me go back. Add an event dinner with Brittany for Friday at 8.30 p.m. I think you just have to say it in the right amount of speed. Okay, Google. At an event, Saturday morning mastermind, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning. Okay, that didn't exactly do what I wanted, but it does say create an event here. Edit event. So, confirm, I guess. Okay, so then it kind of puts it in here. So that was kind of interesting. So that'd be something to play around with, right? So it looks like it'll do some of the actions, and then you have to confirm that you want it to do it or edit it accordingly or whatever, which, you know, that makes sense. Um, okay, so let's see what else. Let's go back. And what was another one? Um... Call Lindsay. I'm not going to do a call one, but we can do set a reminder. That'll be a one to do. Okay, Google. Set a reminder. Remind me to get groceries tomorrow. Event create. Ooh, where'd it go? Using Google Reminders. Okay, Google. Remind me to get groceries tomorrow at 10 a.m. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's not working exactly how I expected. Let's go back, make sure we're wording that right. Set a reminder. Okay, set a reminder is what we have to set. Oh no, it says remind me to pick up right at Trader Joe's. Let's try again. Okay, Google, remind me to post this video on YouTube at 3 p.m. today. What do you mean? Remind me to post a video at 3 p.m. today? Okay. Hmm. You know, maybe I have to set up the reminders for Google. I've not ever done that. I was just assuming it would know what to do. <laughs> uh, okay, well, either way, it does kind of take you to something relating to that. So, interesting, interesting. Now, it's obviously this is in, a, in the beta stage, so it's, it's still learning what it is that we want it to do. So, let's try to send an email. And um, let's just try... Okay, Google, send email to Chris. Hmm, doesn't seem to be opting in or logging into my email. Let's see if there's any kind of troubleshooting. Send an email. Create my. So that doesn't really give us any information on there, does it? And this ends up being great. Maybe that's what I had to do. Remind me without saying a time, because I guess a time would be an event. Okay, Google. Remind me to take Oscar outside. <laughs> This is ending up being search. Okay. Okay, Google. Remind me. Oh. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Remind me to pick up bread at the store. No internet connection. What? I have internet. There it goes. Hmm. Well, guys, it definitely works for searching, but it looks like it may still have a little bit of uh, glitches to work out, or I just need to figure out how to do it <laughs> for some of these other actions, because I'm definitely logged into my Gmail, and there's no reason why that wouldn't work, but I've never used the Google Reminder, so that could be a reason why that isn't going to work. And then the events... Um, I think that's going to be a little bit different than just creating an event versus accessing your calendar because I'm not specifically using the Google Plus calendar. I'm using my calendar and my phone that syncs through Google. But okay, so guys, that was an interesting kind of experiment to play around with, and I hope that you enjoyed uh, goofing off with me on that. And as I learn more things and figure stuff out, I'll definitely do some more videos relating to it. But in the meantime, obviously, we've learned how to install it. We've learned how to um, just ask Google questions and get some kind of basic answers. And just kind of remember, I mean, this is in the beta stage. I mean, it's fairly new as far as, you know, using it on your computer and accessing these other services with it obviously so you know give it a little time and play around with it and let me know what you think about this new search tool the voice search and I look forward to hearing from you so guys with that if you like this video click like subscribe to my channel for additional videos and if you want more tutorials on Google Plus um, there'll be a link under this video where you can subscribe to my my email notification so each time I upload something new for Google Plus you will get a notification on that so with that guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next video bye for now